Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another Bug Snacks achievement and trophy guide and this time we are going to be doing all 38 side quests for every single character. Now they are quite easy to do um, but they do take some time um, as you probably aware in this game by now and be aware that you can only do certain side quests after a certain point of the story so I advise just basically holding off doing this until you're on the final main mission called Major Celebration. Basically that's a point of no return because that way everything's done and nothing can really stop ye. So, let us get a cracking, ha! Huh. And the first one that we're going to do is Gramble. Again, you can do this in uh, any order if you specifically, uh, supposedly, specifically, supposedly want. But I'm just going to go with Gramble because, well... In fact, I tell you what, there is a reason why I'm going for Gramble, actually. Um, so, what, what, what his first... Uh, whoa, 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 sorry, getting a bit thing, getting a bit thinged up there. So, his first... Uh, request it is to donate six bug snacks to the ranch now I've got six on me which is absolutely fine but you have to go and get six of these bug snacks put them in the ranch now what that also does is give yourself a snack pack upgrade so you can carry an extra two bug snacks so every time that you've got and I highly advise just every time that you've got a full set of well now eight Go and just donate them, and you will end up getting, I think, 12 or 14 overall. So, just keep on doing that. But that's the first main mission done. Now we can go back to Gramble again. Sometimes you might have to go and sleep till either 5pm, or go to a new area and come back, and then the next side quest will appear. Um, sometimes, because sometimes it just doesn't work if you are just waiting for him to... Uh, want to give you another side quest again, so just be aware of that. I don't know if it's a glitch or a bug or not, but if the side quest doesn't appear above his head, go to a new area, come back, and let's go. Right, this one is a bit of a an it is a bit of an annoying one to be honest. So, what you have to do is get the Queeble to the other side of the farm. Now, obviously, put the buggy ball down, get it in some chocolate. This first bit's not bad, but it is this bit. So you've got Befica, or, F or Flimbo, or, or Philbo, whatever his friggin' name is, and Wiggle, either side of the uh, far... Um, oh, no, it is Befica, sorry. Philbo doesn't bother you. Um, so put some chocolate again on the ball. Now, what you can't do is actually just go straight through, because they'll end up just catching you. So what you have to do is basically lure them in. So make sure you've got the Queeble. Make sure to lure them in. As you can see, you just cannot go straight through. You need to lure them away and then basically send them on a chase. Um, so again, this one may take a little bit of time to do. Chuck some chocky walky doodahs on that boy. I get the buggy ball going again. Right. So the easiest way I'd done this then was inch ever forward to wiggle. And then get down to the bloody way, you queeble dingbag. That would have been the easy way. Get wiggle and then go around the bench. But, um, obviously, Queeble got my friggin' way. So, we'll try this again. So, what we're going to do is we're going to head through the middle, ever so slightly, very gently. Okay, you need to be a little bit, a bit less gently than that. And then Wiggle is going to start chasing you, and then just go around the bench. I just about end up getting quite lucky there. And there. <laughs> and then just keep it round. Now you have to walk up to the other side and put them in Wamble Farm. And, of course, you need to just do that as quickly as you can. And then as soon as we're here, Wiggle will leave us alone, finally. And that is basically the end of that. Go over to the ramp. And that is how we complete this one. So, yes, this one, to be honest, is probably the biggest pain in the ass side quest to do. Um, just because of that middle bit right there. But, once you've done, you've done. And you can put it up the bum. Oh, not that inch wrap burrito thing on the floor, though. No, don't put that up your bum. That looks like it's coming out. Right, so anyway, once again, I've slept till noon. I've gone to a new area to come back to find Wambus and Gramble arguing. So, speak to Gramble to get another side quest. Now, again, with this, the whole side quest things, they might just be able to... A lot of the time, you'll be able to just talk to them straight away. But again, sometimes you may just have to nip out to a new area to come back. So, what we have to do is do a bit of... Um, a bit of catching some bug snacks now. So we have to go and grab a praying picantis and a scoopy banoopy. Now the praying picantis is in um, 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 sizzling sands. And at this point, 
at this point in the game, of course, I have not realised that there is fast travel. I'm not sure if fast travel is only available to you after you complete the main game. So we're going for a lot of long walks. <laughs> Isn't that exciting? So head off to Sizzling Sands for now anyway. So as we begin then, we are going to go over to the right of Praying Bacantis. is a flaming dude who's just, I mean, he is uh, one of those, um, uh, 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 Jesus Christ, I don't even know what they're called. This thing, that ugly bug thing right there. So get him to follow you. Make sure to put your trip shop down first, because of course we're not going to be able to catch him when he's frozen. So when he does that and he is now on fire, now... <laughs> Now, what he's actually going to do is go ahead and get revenge on the thing that ki killed him off. So, just keep going all the way to the trip shop. Hopefully, he doesn't do that for you. But if not, just lead him into the trip shop when he's not on fire. Catch him. That's how you get the prey in Picantis. Picantis. Yes, thank you very much. Now, what we can do is just head all the way to the Frosted Peaks. So, again... Uh, sometimes, a lot of the time, I will be editing down, so I'm not going to show you me running all the way over to um, <laughs> the Frosted Peaks a little bit, especially a little bit later on. Because, you know, you should know if, I mean, we've played the game this far, right? We, we know how to get to Frosted Peaks by now. But apparently, I'm going to show you this bit anyway. So, <laughs> let's just get there. Ah, bunga butt. How's it going? Flute snob. So I'm not partis. You waste your. I'm never a. Oh please. I'm no. You still. But whether that. I thought. So once we finally reach the Frosted Peaks then, uh, now like I said, there are two ways that you can catch this Scoopy Panoopy. Now you can either put the trip shot, which I end up doing, there he is, Scoopy. So you can either put the trip shot across the campfire, and then just have the Scoopy run into it, and then, um, I mean it's basically job done then. Or what you can do is just get him to chase you, put himself in uh, oh, actually, no, I'll tell you what I'm doing. I'm putting the trip shot. I'm going to tell you exactly the second option. Get him to chase you, although don't let him catch you, of course. Put him on fire, and then put him through the trip shot. You see, because you're trying to catch a Scoopy Banoopy, and it doesn't... Uh, yeah, yeah, so that... Awfully silly of me, old chap. <laughs> so, as I was saying, what you can do is put the trip shot on, put the Scoopy Banoopy on fire, like now... But of course, I've, once again, I've done it in a particularly mongish order, but that's fine. It's it's still an order. And then eventually we get that. So, to make things a lot easier for yourself, put the trip shot down first. Put the Scoopy Binoopy in the campfire. Uh, lead him into the trip shot. Makes life a whole lot easier. So, when we are here, we're just going to go back to Snacksburg, go back to Gramble, and put it in his barn.
right there. Hey! Those, well, no matter what. So, nice easy one coming up then. Visit Gramble later. Oh, well, you want me to come around midnight? You want me to bring a bottle of wine and a Chinese? No? Okay, well, I'll just bring me and my big old Gramble. Right, so we can sleep until... Um, I think any time's fine, actually. So we're going to sleep till noon. I mainly sleep till noon just because that's most daylight and you can see more. Uh, so go ahead and find Gramble. Sometimes conversations will happen, sometimes it won't. Just, you know, if it does, just smash through the dialogue as we've been doing so expertly in the game. Expoitly. There's Gramble then. Oh, you stupid Banoopy praying mantis. Oh, I know what it is now. It's a praying mantis. Sorry, I forgot what it is. Picantis, praying mantis. It all makes sense now, yes. Anyway, that is Gramble's side quest done. So nice and easy one to start off with there, to be honest. So now we're going to go with a bit of floof bag. Floofter moofter. The fluffter muffter. Well, do you need my assistance again? Well. Now, these ones are going to take a little bit longer. And the main thing is, eventually, he's going to want to be fully transformed. Which means... We just need to feed him a total of 14 bug snats in order to fully transform. But for now, I mean, well, for this one, it's easy enough, actually. We can just go ahead and ask eight grumpuses to help Floofty. So if it's in the... I'd probably end up going to um, the daytime, go to noon, just because it'll be a lot easier, because there'll be a lot more people about. Uh, otherwise, all you got to do, you can ask any people, any ones at all. Just go up to them, ask them to help Floofty to end this side quest. You're doing all right. Oh, well. Catch you on the flip flop. Hey, mind your own beeswax, huh? What are you kidding me, pal? I'm like. Well, that's that one done. So you've asked eight out of eight people, or Grampuses. Does again? Does not matter which ones you ask. We're gonna go back to the floof bag. Oh, yes, it's because you're absolutely nuts, my brother, you know, no? Perhaps then, as for you, I consider it a... So, as you can see, he wants to be fully transformed. Now, like I was saying earlier, every Grumpus, um, you need to feed them a total of 14 bug snats in order to fully transform their whole bodies. Right? That's good. Fair enough. Now, through everyone's main uh, missions and side missions and stuff like that, you will pretty much automatically get about six or seven already done so to finish this bit off i would highly advise just go into garden grove and there's pretty much at least 10 if you uh, include the snack pods um there's five of the snack pods that should be unlocked by now in this area as well um then you can pretty much just grab every nab everyone once and then job done but otherwise you can get i think it's about nine, yeah, so you can get nine from this area with the two shish kebabs, Dr. Sodi, two bungers, white strabby, the two friders in the cave behind us now, and the weenie worm. So you can get at least nine, plus there's a couple of flying ones if you want, but honestly, I just find it's... It just takes too long, to be honest. I'm just getting a random achievement right here, by the way. Um, but I do think it just takes too long to get the flying ones, so you can easily... Just grab these nine bug snats in the matter of, you know, literally two minutes or something. And when we do that, uh, after we do all of that, so we've got the Friders. Again, we're looking at nine. That is what we're pretty much going for. If you can grab eight or nine, that should pretty much uh, fully... You should then be able to fully transform the Grumpus. So grab the eight or nine from here. When you're done with that, head back. Oh, in fact, we're grabbing the uh, white strabby first, apparently. Okay, now we're going to start heading back. So, 
Yep, after doing all of that then, we're just going to head back now to Garden Groves. And, well, that's all you got to do is fully transform the floof bag. Now, it's easy enough because if, if there's a body part that hasn't yet been transformed, it'll automatically go to that bit. So you don't have to, you know, go through each and every single body part to, you know, figure if you're missing one just in case. It'll always be automatically onto the one part that doesn't have any bug snacks on it. So... Go back to Floofty, do that, and that will be the end of the last meal side quest. What are you looking at? <laughs> what? Friday. Intriguing. Bunger. Nom nom nom. Oh, neat. <clears throat> Unbelievable. <laughs> nom, nom, nom. Oh, neat. Stop. <laughs> Intriguing. <laughs> Unbelievable. Fried. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, neat. Very good. I have a few more pre. Oh, I hmm. borrowed one of my brother's patented. Once the device has act. I don't. I need you. Plus another two random achievements right there, which is always good. Right, for this next one, all you got to do is push the button next to him and a little cutscene will play out. Oh, sorry, you got to feed him a bug snack, sorry. So, I've got the one strabby. Whatever you got, give him a feed. And Snob is going to be like, you are put a start to this nonsense right now, Snorpington. If my hypothesis... And if you're wrong, even after everything you've done... Don't try to... What you... Sh you are... I would think you... See, this is why... It's pit. <sighs> I can really. My work should stand for it. With the others, it is. <sighs> I cannot make myself under. And perhaps. And there, there goes. Therein lies the conclusion of Floofty's side quest. Right now, where we're going to go, we're going to go and find Shelda. Who should always be in its place of this hippie yoga mat thing. So give Shelda a little wake aroni. Bug snacks lately. You who continues, but one will behold the box of purity. Those box nets placed inside shall be purged by the light of Mother Nature. Make an offering to the box. Show that you are willing to walk this path. <laughs> So this first one is at least very easy. All we got to do is offer a bug snacks, any bug snacks to the box. So as soon as you're able, or if you still need a bug snacks, just nip off to Garden Grove and grab one of them quick, very quickly. I've got a spa, a strabby once again. Pop that in the box. Talk to Shelda. Job done with that one. Nice and cheesy. A wise choice was made. So I'll just go ahead, speak to the lad, lady lad, lady lad, lady lad again. Right. <laughs> That's a funny reaction. I was doing things about bug, and so it is. Ever the same. So. So once again, we have to go a little bit of traveling. We need an entrap, a cheese, and a green peel bug. So the first location we go into is Flavor Falls, which of course, as we all know by now, is the first area, the very first area of the game, past Garden Groves. So head to Flavor Falls again. Like I said, I've just started editing down you. Uh, me f showing you uh, just running there. I'll just tell you where to go and you can just make it and pause the video uh, That's a pinkle which we don't need so let's not bother with that um, What I'm also grabbing at the minute uh, to go to the right as soon as you head here into this little cave area sort of opposite where the waterfall is Now the in trap is just underneath it's underneath the ground But what I'm actually grabbing is a caramel pop tick because they only appear When it's raining in the day, so make sure that you need um if you need it for the 100 bug snacks achievement, make sure to grab the caramel pop tick down here when it's raining. 
Now we can just crack on with the side quest. So, there's an Intrap. What you need to do is get him to start chasing you. And he will try and fly up to smack you on the boobs. Or whatever journalists or whatever we got as uh, whatever. Uh, he'll try and smack us anyway. So, just keep touching him. Keep touching him. And then he'll get all amber and be all like... <laughs> and then we can just shove your middle finger straight up. Come on, you big douchebag Amber Heard. Eventually, right, there he goes. So, eventually, he's going to get on land, and he's going to try and hit you. But you've got to get him. You've got to lure him onto a hard piece of hardness. The best way to do that is probably to get the snack trap. Because there we go. So, if he doesn't do it by you just poking and prodding him, get the snack trap out, and he will try and knock that one away. And he'll just get on the ground. But he needs to be on a hard piece of ground for him to get fudged up by you. Right, next, we're going to go to, yeah, I told you we were going to this location, which is Sizzling Sands. Told you, yeah, I told you that 30 seconds ago. Right, now, this one is an easy one, but it can be a bit of a pain in the butt if there are other enemies about, because it's as simple as using a trip shot. Um... But of course, these spuddies will come try and chase you. The one burger thing with the tornado on his back, for some reason, will try and chase you as well. Sometimes, if obviously, if you're in close proximity. So, to find the cheeser, he is around here. You can probably just see him waddling off in the distance, to the left. Can you just about see him there? There he is. So give him a picture. No, not the breakfasty bits, damn it. The cheeser. So like the Oreo things from... Um, um, from uh, oh, Sugar Pine Woods, this one just goes around in one big circle, as you can see. So all we have to do is find the perfect place to put our trip shot down. But again, like I said, <laughs> with these spuddies and all types of crap after you, it, sometimes it can make for potentially annoying viewing, or doing, as it were. So I do try and put it on here, but it's not actually, it, it doesn't work here, which is a bit of a pain in the butt. It probably would have if uh, the cheeser didn't just walk past. Anyway, this is where I actually end up doing it. So just in this area here, put it on the stone to the left and just wait. Put it across. Now again, be mindful of there, there may be some others that will try and smash the tra trip shot down. If not and you get a nice easy run, this will happen. You can just pick up the cheeser and job done. Now we need a green peel bug, which is in the location of... Scorched Gorge. So as soon as you go back one, we're going to end up back here in the Scorched Gorge. Go across, get your buggy ball out, go across the bridge, take a look down, and you can just see a hole just in the wall there. So we're going to be sticking our balls straight in, completely dry. Guide your balls in the hole, and then make a run for it. Give us some money, and then, I mean, just make a run for it. Go into the hole, this sort of hole with the shy weenie worms. Get your snack trap ready, and there is the hole. Make sure to get it out, and then BAM! That's the green peel bug. There we go. When you get all three, now we're going to head back to Snacksburg and give them to Shelda. Put them in Shelda's box. Put your balls in Shelda's box. There's something for you to think of. Blessings be yours. So long! Hey, how's the journey? Oh, great! <clears throat> Return one. Now again, bit of an edit here. I had to go to a new area just to come back in order for Shelda's next side quest to pop above her head, the symbol. So when we do that, we can now go and, well, do the next thing. So we need a sprinkle peed, a palatos, and a flat jackarack. Now the sprinkle peed is here in Sugar Pine Woods. So make your way there, and then we need to go up, basically onto the snowy part of the area. And we need to have a look at this big tower right in front of us. There it is, it's the donut. It's basically a donut with sprinkle legs, right? Happy days. So what we need to do, just get out to your trip shot. And just put him anywhere where the um, little, obviously, purple arrows are. That one is done. That's when you know he's going to start walking into there. So to do to get him off, get your chocolate sauce slinger out. Put your sauce slinger out. 
put chocolate on it, make sure to lure him down, and then he will start running away. Eh, after his chocolate, he bams, we slams. That's the first one done there, so Sprinkle Pedios. Right now we need to go to Boiling Bay in order to get this Palitos, or Pale Toss. Pale Tosser. Um, sorry. <laughs> My bad. Right, so the Pale Toss, or Palitos, will always be here in Boiling Bay. And instead of trying to mess around with fire, what you can do is just lead him into the water. Pale Toss. Right, look a bit pale to me. Lead him into the water, and eventually he'll start counting down. 15. 14. Ah, my butt! Get your stick out my butt, boy! And now we just wait for the countdown. Ah! And my butt! Oh, just knocked out the soda can as well. Palatos! And there we go. Once it goes in half, you've got 10 seconds to catch one. Job done. That's the second one done. Now we need to get a Flapajakaraka. And what we're doing is heading into the cave. Now, obviously, by now, if you've gone this far into the story and you're doing all the side quests, obviously, like we're doing after the main missions, etc., you should have opened up this secret area for us. Uh, the shortcut to go into Sizzling Sands. Otherwise, you've got to go all the way back to Snacksburg through Scorched Gorge. And it's just not... It's just... Horrible. So we're going to take the shortcut of Sizzling Sands. Right, the Flap Jackarack is... Uh, he is in this area somewhere. And there he is. So he's kind of like a burger-looking thing, except he's a Flapjack. That's why he's called Flap Jackarack. And it's the same sort of thing then. All you need to do is just get a trip shot. Whatever he is, make sure to just get a... Bit of stone, bit of tree. You know how the trip shot works by now. <coughs> As soon as he does that, then he's a pancake with bacon coming out of him. Job done. Right, once all three are caught, head back to Shelda, stick them in the box, and that's this side quest done. Hello, Tiffany. Hey! Nice to see ya. No, what's the... might as well. Well, it's not in time. It's just... But the one who is why I have to set an example for the... I aspire... And in fact, that is the end for Shelda's side quest mission. So, getting through it. Right, next up, we are going to do Snorpy. Again, there's no particular reason why I'm doing it in this order. It's just pretty much because I can. So we're going to do Snorpies first, or Snorpies next even, not big old Oreo teeth right there. And what we do is have to catch one Scoopy Banoopy. And of course, that means we have to go all the way up to Frosted Peaks. Now apologies about the edit there, for some reason I was being a bit of a dongleberry again. So I ended up sleeping, I, accident I accidentally blew him up, which of course we don't need, because we have to catch him as, as one. So if you accidentally blow him up... Just go to the camp there, uh, next to Eggabel and next to the big main door. Go to sleep for a bit, and come back, and then find the Banoopy once again. -y. So there he is, old big banana arms, but eh? banana arm arms. So again, what may be easier to do is just actually lead him into the campfire as so. Bam. Scoop, and then get the trip shot out. So. Get the campfire, get him all on fire, uh, through the campfire, campfire, get a trip shot, will you stop hitting me douchebag, there you go, get the trip shot out, S uh, stun him there with the trip shot, scoop him up with the banoopy, and head back to Snacksburg, and just feed it to Snorple Dog. Well met, there is an unused disassemblage. Scoop. Oh. <laughs> Delicious! And while we're enjoying... I'm afraid that our success may provoke a counter-attack from the Grumpinati. However, I have defend... I've set... Now, this next side quest of Snorpies will happen automatically. We just have to light up all seven of the flares. Very easy, this one. Not too difficult at all. So there is the first one, which is already lit, of course. That counts as one. Get your trip shot out. He uh, have a look over... Gramble's farm, and we're going to see the next one. 
So there's that. Boom! Oh, we did just like uh, Scoopy Panoopy on fire as well. Well, that melt him down a bit, won't it? Right, from this second one, have a look behind you up. Uh, if you're going sort of towards Garden Grove. And give that one a smash as well. Okay, and of course, catch yourself on fire. If you need a tan, you do anything, wouldn't you? Right, so here's the next one. Drag that down. Pop that down into Wambus's farm. And again, catch yourself on fire if you so choose. Um, you know, preferably not. Now we can go back to the second one that we did. Take a look to your left. And right in the middle of the town is the campfire. Campfire, chang chang. Um, and you got SpongeBob and Patrick there. No, just Chando and Snoopy. Right, the next one is to the left. Right next to our mailbox, pretty much. The sixth one is just on Elizabeth and Egbert's house. Uh, well, we can try and hit Chando with it as well if we want, but it was not working. So, the next one is just on Elizabeth and Egbert's house right there. And the seventh one is just on Philbo's house, which is just to the left, or to the right of Elizabeth's house. Once we've done that, return to Snorble Vision to end this side quest. Right, so to get Snoopy's Excellent. final mission up, yes. when we talk to him, you to get Snoopy's final well. mission, we would have had to have completed Egabelle's main quest. Um, because that is where she's located, where we need to actually go. So, if you're wondering why Snoopy's well, final quest hasn't come up, and you haven't done Egabelle up in Frosted Peaks Mountain, that's why. So, do Egabelle's main quest in Frosted in um, the uh, Frozen Mountain, then come and speak to Snoopy. Then we're going to go up to the Frosted Peak, and we're going to get the first out of four legendary bug snacks. Which, of course, I do have a separate video for, if you wanted to know tips. But I'm going to let you know these quick tips anyway. So, there's basically three phases, three different locations that we have to go for this cake boss. The first being right in front of us. Now, there are two ways. Yes, the sort of cheating but it's not really cheating way and the legit way what you're supposed to do legit so put the trip shot down blow up the candle the daddy cake legs is going to appear now what you're supposed to do is put a trip shot again take a picture of him so you know exactly where he's walking to you're supposed to put a trip shot down on one of the icicles and you're supposed to get the uh, two birthday candles on either side of him lit up again you can either do it this way or what I highly advise doing is setting yourself on fire and just running up to him. And that will end it quicker than Indian food passing straight through you. Well, not to worry. Right, so now we've got to go and find him once more and then another time. So, this is the reason we, why we had to complete Eggabelle's uh, particular story. is because this next cake boss location is located in uh, the place where Eggabelle was standing. Right in front of the mountain door. So, when we come down here, uh, turn around after we grab the baby cake legs. Go all the way around. And that is where the next one is. And then the third and final time that you have to fight Daddy Cake Legs is... Where we've been fighting the sc Boopy Scanoopy, Scoopy Banoopy all those times. So basically, from here, go straight up and you'll see another mound with a little um, candle on it. Just smash it out, and that will be the end of Snorpington's side quest. <laughs> Another tactical retreat. Oh. Chill up, chum. We've almost got. Ha! 
I've got it in my sights. Let's say we take the cake. Brilliant work. The seismic activity had no. What a sick, I mean, honestly. But. Ta-ta! Daddy... Come! Ooh! A happy birthday indeed! Now let's hurry back to snack! And right after that one is done then, now we are going to go ahead and start Chandlow's side quest. So, yes, he needs help. These ones are pretty fun as well. All, all, all old Acorn nose right there. I'm about as swole as a grumpus can get, and I can't move this thing at all. I gotta be strong. Uh, if you go find the biggest... So then, for the first one, he wants us to catch some aggressive, meaty bug snacks. Now, we only need three. Now, what I'm telling you is, crabs don't count as aggressive or meaty. Neither does a caramel pop tick, a scoopy banoopy, or a baby cake legs. So none of them are aggressive or meaty. Um, but, you know, we need them for the fully... To, to fully transform every Grumpus, so get it down him, then. So what we're actually going to do then, we're going to head up to Garden Grove. Now, we only need three, and the three that we can grab are pretty much right there. And they are all for catching bungers. They are burgers, they are aggressive and meaty. I mean, they're meaty at least, I don't, they, they're nice and harmless, they're not aggressive. But, apparently they are. So, first bunga, don't worry about the shish kebab, he is not, <laughs> shish kebug, sorry, not the shish kebab. But, go ahead and grab this first mighty bunga. Bunga, 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 bunga. Bunga, 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 bunga. Right, there he goes, there's the first one. There is another bunga directly behind us as well, just at the end of where Dr. Sodi and the river ends. Also, we've got a new snack hat, Chanlo's cap. Um, that is for completely another achievement for collecting 10 hats, which I do have a video for as well. A separate video for if you want to watch that. Uh, well, let's try and do this trip shot again, shall we? There we go, so from one tree to the other, make it so. Bunga's gonna nip there. Bam! That's number two out of three. Right. Let's go and find our third aggressive meaty bug snacks. And it's going to be... Well, would you look at that? It's gonna be another bunga. <laughs> so what we're actually gonna do is go to Befrica's cave. We're gonna sleep till noon or whenever you want. Go down, catch a third bunga. Then head back to Chandlo. Job done. I set up these so this next one is a fun one. What you have to do is get your snackle grab, and you see there are weights just above uh, Chamlo's head right now. So we need to drop the weights on Chamlo. So the first one you can just about do. Sometimes you may miss. Sometimes, as you can see, I missed incredibly right there. If you do miss, they end up just resetting themselves anyway. Uh, so here he comes again. So 
Bam! Make sure to get him dead on the money right there. So that'd be two out of five. Third one. Just about grab the third one. Fourth one. They're all pretty much dotted around all in one sort of circle, circular motion. Which is fine. But again, if you miss, as you can see, it just resets at the top. So when they panic, wiggle. Go and wiggle yourself up and away, please. Dumble bag. Dumbledore, Dumble bag. So we've got three. Now we're just going to wait. Sometimes it can be hard to tell exactly where he's just gone over the weights. It's, it's kind of guessing, sort of in a way, sometimes. As you see right there. So now we wait for him again. So yeah, only because because you're looking up at the weights, it's hard to see if he's actually on the platform or if you've missed him or not. But still, it may take a little bit of time, but it's not too bad. Just about got away with that one. There you go, five out of five. That is what you call a workout, by the way. None of this squat, deadlifts, bench, and military press and everything. Just drop weights on your head because that'll make you huge. Yowge. Right, after we've either gone to a new area or gone to it and come back, we are going to um, basically do Chandler's final mission, and it is for getting the secondary, uh, the second legendary bug snacks. Now, this one, if you have watched my other video, my separate video for the four legendary bug snacks, you will know exactly what it is. It is Mama Mewen. Who reminds you of one of those, you know, one of those, you know, Tinder girls who were like, basically, she's very protective of her kids. So she's one of those Tinder women who were like, you know, these bloody plenty of fish and other crap that's out there now. God, how how old do I sound? I <laughs> just keep following Chandler anyway, but she does sound like one of those dating app women that's like, nothing can between me and my kids. If you don't like it, then we can't date. Oh, I'm sorry. There is nothing coming between my and my 13 kids, right? Right, okay. And I don't know why she sounds like she does there, but uh, there we go. But that is what Mama Mowen reminds us of. So when we follow Chandlow, a little bit of a cutscene is going to happen. There it is! Wambus well, wasn't kidding. That snack is huge! All right, you big bug! Here comes the Chandlo Slam! <laughs> and so, to smash out Mama Mowen, what you have to do is see all these statues there. The frog statues. You need to get the Wee Mowens in front of it. And then what's going to happen when you catch one, Mama Mowen is going to be all like, Oh, I get off my Tinder profile. You don't like my kids. Piss off. And then we're going to be like, damn. And then... But when they're in front of the actual statue, you can just see the stalactites just above where the uh, frog statue is. So, that's what we're going to do. You know exactly where this is going, don't you? Um, as I'm just having a look at me, we Mewen. So, put the snack trap down right in front. Try and put it right in front of the middle of the statue. Grab one, get your snack grappler ready. As soon as the wet big one comes... Hit the stalactite above, and that will hit Mama Mowen. You have to do this three times. Don't worry, there's plenty of statues to go round. You just need to hit her three times, and then we need to hit her a fourth time for the final blow. That was a close one, dog. I got an idea. So, what's gonna happen then for the final blow? Which you don't want one of the 13 kid mother. Uh, just joking. Chandler's going to go and distract her, get your snack grappler ready, and as soon as she goes over to eat Chandler, get the stalactite above her, and she'll shrink faster than a cold wiener. Um, <laughs> just joking. <laughs> well, anyway, that is a new snack, Mama, Mo Me Mama Mowen, and that concludes Chandler's side quest. So, getting through it, slowly but surely, yeah? 
bạc ngạo I was hoping I'd get twice as bigger. And Chandler isn't. I spent my whole life climbing up, bro. There's always gonna be something. So next up, then, what we're gonna do is crumb those next missions. You know, this clown-looking dude who's just angry with the world. Kind of reminds us of Danny DeVito, but we all like Danny DeVito. We all love Danny DeVito, in fact. So again, you'll look like you're scheming. Yeah, we're gonna do naughty ones, but. As soon as we press the A button there to just get rid of all of this snatch. I clearly said fifty. Funny. Right, so what we need to do is catch a buffalo cast. Now where we have to head to is Sizzling Sands. So I just like that bit of dialogue. Fifteen. Right, there is the Motto Supreme. So that is the Big one that we have to collect, the third legendary bug snacks uh, just after. But the buffalo cast is basically a flying chicken wing on fire. So, yeah, make that what you will. It sounds delicious, actually. So, the way we get him down, obviously he's on fire, so we need to lure him into some water. So, get a buggy ball out and whack out some hot sauce on it as well. Because, again, there's nothing wrong with a bit of hot sauce on an already hot buffalo wing. Blah, 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 blah. Especially one that's on goddamn fire. Oh. Right, so, get him over to the buffalo. And again, try and stay next or close to this little body of water right here. As soon as he starts flying. Now I'm like, oh crap, where's the water? Where's the water? And it's just right in the middle of the map, obviously. So, make sure he's still following. As soon as he is, buffalo is going to get shot at. Squirt, squirt, squirtle. He's going to get squirtled. Bam, bam, bam. And you can just catch him right there, so... Kind of looked like a tanned lady was just about to give birth more than an actual bug snack. But hey, what, hey, it's some good designing. I can't... you can't beat it. You can't. And now I've just... I've just got buffalo wings. Hot and spicy buffalo wings in my head, to be honest, no? Oh, the joys of this game actually makes you incredibly hungry with the half of the crap that you put out there. Especially the daddy cake legs, that was a... Yeah, that was a nice one. But anyway, right, we're getting a little ahead of ourselves. Back into Snacksburg. Go back to Cromdo, and that'll be the first one done. Oh, man, I am stuffed thanks to my... F Guess so, just... Did you say Buffalo Locust? Take it? Uh, well... Never mind. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not letting a crook like... No, 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 wait, 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 I... Yeah. Business as usual. I try to play nice and fair. I get a... Yeah, well, if meet me outside... All right, now, here's the plan. I'll keep one. So, now we're about to be naughty, not naughty, naughty, naughty. You're teasing me. But we are actually going to steal Triffany's map. So, we are outside. You don't have to go the long way around the house that I did. The, the entrance is right behind Cromdo right there. So, um, you know, if you want to waste sort of 10, 20 seconds, then go the exact way I did. But there's Crom, though. Then I'm like, oh, you son of a... Anyway, uh, you can slowly walk in. I'm not sure if sprinting or anything makes too much of a difference. I just go nice and slow and quiet-like. Like a re like a cat. Like a ninja cat. Like a ninja cat with AIDS. The, apart from the AIDS bit. Just a regular ninja cat, then. So the map is on the st at the top of the stairs, on the desk... Slowly climb back down, and we're going to see Wambus um, talking to a cactus for some reason. Tell him to go back to sleep. Okay. Cack, Triffy. Ah, cack. Ah, <laughs> it reminds me of a cack. Anyway, once we are out of here, obviously turn right to give the map to Grando. Cramdo, Cromdo, I can't even remember his bloody name. And that will be it for this one. Now, we can't actually do his third side quest until we crack on with Befika's. Um, I think we have to do three of Befika's side quests before they have an argument, and then you're able to do Cromdo. So, for now, we'll come back to Cromdo a little bit later on. What we're going to do is crack on with all of Befika's one. And Befika's... <laughs> Dusty! Yeah, they're big gums. Um, yeah, Biffica's are very easy. She just 
wants you to find out what people do at midnight and stuff, so we gotta find out what Mi Wiggle does at midnight. It's already about half past 12, of course, if it's not, just go ahead and sleep to midnight, and then just follow Wiggle right here. Wiggle, wiggle that booty right up the Grambles farm. You know what she wants. You know what she wants. She wants a bit of a Britney Ouch. Any South Park fans in here? <laughs> Come on, Quibble. Don't be... <gasps> Darling! Uh, well, I'm... Don't worry, Wiggle. Don't look all pissed off. We are, we've all been there. A little midnight sneaky sneak around. Anyway, when you... I want to have found out what Wiggle does. Well, let's go back to Befika. Tell her what we know. And then we will start the next side quest. OMG! Sounds like Wiggle hasn't in my old life. I would have... Uh, I used to... Oh, right. Have you found any... They're the best snack ever. There might be some hiding... And luckily, this one is uh, very easy as well. It's part of the rumor mill, but apparently you've just got to catch one crispy snack pod. And that, once again, is in the Garden Grove. Uh, so, uh, let's go to the Garden Grove. Yeah, nothing else much to say right there. Now, the first one and only one that we can grab. I say only one, there's five around, but the quickest one we can grab is... As we enter Garden Grove, go to the right, go into Beth's cave, and there should be one there. But apparently, I've gone straight and grabbed the one off the cliff edge right there. Um, so, you know, either one, doesn't matter which one you get. But there is one in Befica's cave right there if you wanted to grab that one instead. Makes no difference. Anyway, head back, and that'll be the next side quest done for her. Uh, chum, I need- you see, my seismic Chandler and I are headed to Splendid! Meet us there whenever you get the ch- Chandler! <laughs> hey, hey! So again, automatically, the third quest for Befica should appear. Also, just ignore Snorpy's one right there. That is just for the free DLC, which we'll be doing at the very end of the game. Um, or if you want, I've got a separate video for that one as well, if you wanted a complete playthrough. So what we're going to do, we're just going to go ahead and sleep until midnight here. Obviously, it depends on what time it is for you. But uh, I'm going to sleep until midnight, and then we're going to go to Crondo's house and just follow him. Somebody there? You didn't hear anything, pal. You got that? Not a single peep! Hey! hey, 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 hey. Crono likes a good dance like the rest of us. And he doesn't even need a drink. Unless he's been drinking, which is fair enough. I need a drink to dance personally, but there we go. That's um <laughs> That's Crondo's thing anyway. Now, after this one, what we're going to do is go out of the area, come back in, and then Crondo and Befik should be having that argument. That means we can then finish Crondo's quest if you want, but, like I said, because we're already doing Befika's stuff, we're just going to go ahead and do Befika's stuff. 
Um, or sleep until noon, sleep until midnight. What, whatever the do -si do whatever the do -re me. <laughs> Let's try that one again then. I uh, don't think you actually have to go out to the new area. I think as soon as we go over to Cromdo's house, uh, they'll start the argument. Yep, there it is. Hey, I know you've been spying on me. Or you'll what? Nya, 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 nya. You think I'm the only one? Sooner or later, you're going to be back. Uh, whatever. <laughs> now, what I was doing, I wasn't following Befica to the toilet before you called me an absolute perv, but take a listen. Or did I say take it as a sorry? What I meant was wait until she comes out and then the next side quest will appear. <laughs> of course, we're not following Beth. We're not following you to the toilet, Befrica. We were I, I genuinely was wanting my next side quest, so Okay, well let's just brush that under the carpet, shall we? And go and find her those three grumpy snack pods, which will be on the Simmering Springs Beach. So then, there are three, I think there are five boats in the Simmering Springs, but I'm just going to show you exactly where um, the best places they are. This first one is directly in front of us. Climb up on all these sort of rock pool things right here. When you're in this area, go to the right in this little tree flowery area. The first one is going to be right here. Grumpy snack pod, even though it looks happy as hell. Anyway, we can just jump straight forward. Jump up onto this next rock if you can. Oh, well, actually, we can go down on the floor. Go over to these next set of rock pools there on the left. And the next one is just chilling. Having a good time. I mean, I suppose it's grumpy if you look at it upside down. But it looks happy to me. Right. Go through where the uh, bench is, or the hammock is and tent and everything is. The next and third grumpy snack pod is on the wall to the left. So make sure to grab that. And then we can just head all the way back to Snacksburg. And give them to Big Beth. How's it going? Hi. Ah, thanks, bestie. Isn't it so sad that I... Now, for whatever reason, whatever I tried, Befica's next side quest wouldn't come up. So this is uh, one of the points where if this happens to you, again, go to a new area. Just come straight back to Snacksburg, and it should appear above Big Beth's head. So, it's snooping time again. <laughs> now that Snoop... I never got any dirt on Chandlow. If anybody... <laughs> Imitation Beef 1 and 2. So we're on to the final two side quests anyway for Big Beth. Uh, we just need to find out what Chandlow does at midnight. So, with that, we are going to take a little snooze until midnight. Man, this journalist d dude's got it down. Now we can go to the mill house, where obviously the sawmill and everything. And all Chandlow does is basically work out in the middle of the night as well. Uh, to get the conversation going, you actually have to walk up to him. And that one is all good. We're just steering, steering him out while he works out at midnight, apparently. Job done. Right, go back to Befrica to start the final side quest for her. Shut up! The more innocent I have an idea. I need you to try. And for the final time then, we are going to head to Simmering Springs for Invitation Beef Part 2. Now we just need to turn Befka's arms into green snacks. The way we do that is to catch four green grape skeetos. Uh, so if you've got a full set of... Um, uh, Bug snacks there on your bottom left hand corner. Make sure to give them all to Gramble's Farm for obviously upgrades and to get rid of them all so you don't have to keep releasing one. But these green grape mosquitoes only come out from 4pm till 4am. So just be aware of that one. 
it's half one in the morning, so we're all good. So if you don't see one yet, go to sleep till midnight and they should be out. Or, fi you know, 5 p.m. or midnight, that'll be fine. So, the way to grab these, put these razzies, put these raspies, get some chocolate on them. Gre green grape skeetos are going to come down. And as soon as they get a bit chungus malungus, to too much to fly, yeah, give that a little catchy duty. Same thing's going to happen with that one. So what we're going to do then is just put the chocolate onto these raspies and let the green grape skeetos do their work. There's the next one. Then just go back to the um, little camping tent area with the hammock. Sleep again till 5 p.m. or midnight and come back and grab the next two green grape skeetos. Skeeter ate the Mars bars, job done. Right, head back to Snacksburg, and you need to turn Befika's arms, remember. All of her arms should be green snacks. So make sure to do it on her arms, and her arms only. Otherwise, you'll have to come back and grab another one. And <laughs> we don't want to do that, do we? Evening. Nothing like a campfire. Later. Grape. Um. Oh yeah. Grapes. Um. Um. Grapes. Uh -huh. Grapes. Ski. Um. Oh yeah. This is. Here's the plan. So will it. And obvious. It's not so snort. <clears throat> hey, Snorp Dog. Chandlow, is that you? Oh, uh, there's no. Oh, uh, where bro, you remember that deep. Oh, ah, uh, Chandlow, it's hard for me to know, but the truth is, Chandlow, I. <laughs> Befika, when did you get here? How dare. Uh, bro, she just rat. Hello? Ooh, I like gossip and stuff, but I'm not like that. So apparently you've turned her into Marge Simpson now as well. With the gummy frog thing on her head. Anyway, talk to Befika. That will be the end of her side quests. And then after that, what we're going to do is go ahead and speak to Cromdo to go and grab our third legendary bug snacks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ready to get rich? <laughs> so then, we'll automatically go to Sizzling Sands. So all you gotta do is just follow Cromdo for the time being. Out of this dump! After this, I won't have to work another day in sales for the rest of my life. I'm gonna use the cash to open a little karaoke bar where I can serve fancy drinks and sing as loud as I want. And I'll owe it all to bug snacks. Oh, and uh, you, of course. Hey, check it out. An old timey casket. Wonder if there's treasure in there. Hey, hey, get it, get it, get it. Don't cut it. Eh, whatever. On to the real price. This is the place! 
Looks like we gotta do something to call the bug snack out. Should be a switch right about... Da, 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 da. Ah, here! Whoa, that is something, all right. But it looks like we still gotta blow this thing open. See if there's anything good and explosive around here. And so, when it all kicks off, then, we've got a pizza cutter hilarious, because the Master Supreme is a pizza. Use the snack wrapper on the pizza cutter to open this one up, and this is called a Bombino. Now, when they are stunned, they are this is currently in a stunned state, just drag him over, drag him up, and push him onto the um, rock right there. And you can catch him as well to get yourself a new snack. Now, what you're, all you have to do to get the Moth Supreme to appear, we just need to put our lunch pad down. Right in the middle there. Lunch pad in. Moth Supreme comes. Nya, nya, nya. Now, it's... I mean, the majority, it's easy enough. The final um, phase of this big flame pizza can be potentially luck-based. But it's not too bad. So what we have to do then, we have to awfully, obviously, we need to get the stunned and not on fire so we can just um, go up and put it on the lunch pad at the top. So, keep them following you. Keep them following you into the water. And eventually, I mean, they must be stupid, but, uh, you know. No, get right, there we go. So, don't catch them. Of course, we've already caught one. That's fine. Just what we need to do. He's going to stick his head in. Then we can grab it. Go all the way up to the top. Now, luckily, we don't have to do this with every single one. Because a lot of them will be sucked up by the Monster Supreme. Fall down and be stunned. So, there'll just be a load of these bags everywhere. So, put it on the lunch pad. Now, what he'll do is go from each of the four sides. So, just wait for a second until he goes over to the next side. Before aiming and launching it at him. Uh, just in case you start... You launch and then he moves. It's a pain in the butt snatch. So there he goes. He's over to the other side. Give him a whack. Go straight down. Get your snack grappler out. He'll have a couple of seconds. So make sure to get the pizza cutter down. And that'll be the first phase done. So do this for the second phase. Exactly the same thing for the second phase then. So, let me explain why it's going to be a bit more luck-based than skill-based this time. So, this time around then, the Monster Supreme is only going to go to two of the four pizza cutters available. So, for you, it might be different, but all he's going to do is just swing from side to side and get more of these hurricanes up. So, what we have to do is get one of these Bombinos to the opposite side of where the Mothra Supreme is. So, obviously, for... Obviously, he's just going to go over to the other side. So, wherever, wherever he is now, go to the opposite side and put one of these Bambinos down right in front of these statues. Now, what should happen then, hopefully, is with his hurricane, he whips it up and he knocks himself out. Uh, but that's all you got to do. I'm doing it in a really stupid place because he's not actually come in to this place. He just, once again, he goes to the opposite side. That's all. So, I'm like, yeah, do it. And then he sort of flies straight past. And then I'm like, oh, man. Man, what a goddamn douchebag. So, as you can see, when he is the opposite side, like now, go to the opposite side that he is. How many times have I got to say opposite side, by the way? And then put some of these Bombino bags down, and hopefully he will knock himself out. But again, it can be luck, because some will fly straight past him, but he will get one that will hopefully slap his pepperoni bowels off. Oh, 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 oh,
So like I said, it may take a while, it may take you a lot quicker. Luckily for me, he gets knocked the fudge out, son. So again, make sure to quickly get your snap grappler out. Use it on the pizza cutter. Skablamo, friend! That's the end of this third legendary bug snacks, and that is the end of Crondo's side quests. Yeah, girl! Hubba hubba. Nice work, pal. Let's go. Befica to cut the grump, Cromdo. And maybe your feet. Or you sneaky little. Oh wait. All right, all right, all right, all right. And yours. Oh, no need. <sighs> this gay. You don't get it, pal. You think I like being a scumbag? Because then, I got some, but I wasn't born rich. So unless you're gonna... So after finishing with the angry, stupid man, Crondo or Grumpus, now we're going to do Triffany's side quest. These ones are very, very nice and easy. Um, just a couple, couple of quick ones. Should take no more than ten minutes. This one, nicely. Uh, so talk to her again. For, for whatever reason, the <laughs> dialogue option we need is on the bottom there. Sounds lovely. Right. So, well, let's nip off over to over uh, Flavor Falls. We're going to go there automatically. Alrighty, what we're And all we need to do then we need to feed Triffany a pinkle, which is the jar, as you get whacked in the air by the sandwich. Could really do with a subway now, to be honest. And we need to scan a stone grumper. So there's the pinkle. Again, this one's very easy. We just need to use our trip shot. Oh, in fact, no, I think we can just um In fact, no, I think we can just use the um 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 Baba the Boopy. You know, Baba the Boopy. No, trip shot it is. Okay, sorry. I thought I was going to go for the snack trap there. Sorry, but we are slowly ever inching forward. Don't get too close to the pinkle, of course, because it'll just hide inside itself. So, yeah, we were using the, the um, <laughs> tri trick shot. Or trip shot, sorry. Don't need the jar. Nah, go away, picklehead. All right, so we've got the pinkle. That's all done. Now we need to go and scan a stone grumpus. Now, it's not behind this waterfall. What it is, is the opposite side of the waterfall, where we got the inch wrap, or the inch worm, and the caramel pop tick earlier on. So just underneath here, uh, again, click in your right stick, and that is the stone grumpus face on the right-hand side. Couple of other things if you want to scan them, but the main thing is that's that grumpus face. Go back to Triffany, and uh, just smash all the dialogue. That will end this particular one. That there, all that's unlike, in fact, this me. Oh, cool. Oh, wow. You might have noticed Pinkles. Well, I was hoping to find a camp of some sort. But oh well. Let's head back to... So, we follow her back. And now we're going to go for Triffany Numero Tuereno. That's just the uh, hat snack achievement stuff going on right there. That, once again, is in a separate video. Or in the main 100% Achievement guide, right? Yep. Triffany, okay. let's go speaking to her again. Yep. Yep. All right. <laughs> yep. Now we're going to go immediately to Boiling Bay. So again, no traveling for us this time. De rightful. Lovely place, isn't it? If you don't mind. So again, the two easy things we got to do: scan a treasure chest, which is um, in the water, which is fine. We can grab that one easily, and we need to feed Triffany a pal. Pelatos, Pale Tosser. And there, of course, is the Pale Tosser. So, you know exactly what we have to do. Let him in, lead him into the water. He's going to smash that Sodi out of the way, which is incredible force as well. So, just keep waiting for a sec. As soon as it splits up, 
go ahead and catch him. And from here then, if we turn around when we grab that, you can see the open treasure chest just underneath uh, this little arch or something. Or the remains of something, whatever that is right there. Um, also, if you want, grab a new snack while you're here. The, uh, that's the fruity one, right? That's the fruity snack pod. Happy fruity snack pod. Anyway, we've scanned the treasure chest. We've got the pale tosser. Uh, a paletos, sorry. So let's go and feed it and speak to Triff once again. Hmm. He disappeared at sea. Hard to tell what it re. Paletos. Oh. Deal. You know, Floofty's got a no telling yet. It could have even. I didn't mean. See, but we never. It's really. Anywho. So back in Snacksburg, we're going to talk to Triffity once more, and the only thing that we've got to do left, all we got to do is go to Frosted Peaks and do some walking. Yeah, we got to climb up to the highest point of the mountain, uh, and you can do that literally. There's only pretty much, there is only one linear path to go to the top of the mountain, as you can see directly in front of us. Or you can just follow Triffany, up to you, but all we're doing is going right at the top of the mountain. And that will end Triffany's side quests. And then we've only got Wingle, no Wingle, Wiggle and Wambus left to do there. God damn it, stupid monkey head, you took a time. I'm freezing my balls and nips off up here. For, for what reason, please? There is no reason. So let's talk to her to end this. this is now, when we get back to Snacksburg, talk to her one more time What's to completely finish the side quests. Even that will be that. Yes. If I want to... Sorry to say, Professor Lotterblog. Oh, may I keep it? I go ahead. I'm. I'll never. The end of Bronica Lotterblog. Just like everybody else. A place where. I, but you know. Now we are down to our last two final contestants. Sam, the second to last one is Wiggle. Now, Hello. you're not going to see me ask her for the side quest. I'm not telling you why, because. While I was recording, my electric went out and the recording got blown away. So, when you do speak to Wiggle, what she wants us to do is catch a Sandopede. Sub-Sandopede, Sandopede, yeah, whatever. Um, I mean, obviously I've already caught one there, which is bloody annoying, but I'm going to show you how to do this side quest anyway, of course. There's only three for her, so that's all good. So, the first way, when you speak to Wiggle, <laughs> Wiggle, Wiggle me timbers. Um, the first one she's gonna want us to catch a sandipede. So go to Garden Groves and then go to Flavor Falls. Oh. 
And as we are here, we all pretty much know how to catch a sandipede by now. We've done it a couple of times for various reasons throughout the games. There's the sandipede. He's going to slap you out of his way. Right, go around the corner, as we all know. Get your trip shot out. Put it on this rock in the middle. Put it to the rock on the left. And... Do, 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 do. Wait, wait, wait. He's going to explode. We're going to grab all four pieces. I think only one um, is pretty much needed, but grab all four anyway. And that's the first one for Wiggle done. So now, of course, what you can do is go back to Wiggle, speak to her, and then she will give us the next side quest. Hi! Sando! <gasps> wow! Sando! <gasps> Mm -hmm. and number two is what she's going to want us when you speak to her for the second time. She's going to want us to catch a white chi poof. Now, these are only available after 5 p.m. So, since it's a delicious quarter to eight right now, let's go to Scorched Gorge. Oh, Gorge, that is scorched. Scorched Gorge. Well, that's where I have my wedding, eh? Right, anyway, when it's in the night time, sort of after 5pm, as I've said, go to the left right here. Now you can see the white sheep poof just hanging, chilling, having a little fly about. And this one is as easy as putting your lunch pad down, putting your snap track on it, and slamming it straight towards him. hi -ya! Hardcore, baby. Right, go back to Wiggle, and then we can begin the third and final quest, and the fourth and final legendary Bogues notes. Scooby one of Scooby Snoops. Hello, darling. Now again, it may be the case of when you speak to Wiggle, um, or that her side quest option doesn't appear above her head. Again, if that happens, remember, go to a new area, come back, and it should be there. Now, you don't have to do anything else, but now we can do the final achievement. Not the final achievement. I mean, it is an achievement for uh, grabbing the last legendary bug snacks, but the final quest for Wiggle... So all you got to do is follow her. She is going to sing, by the way. It's going to take literally three or four minutes for her to sing before we can actually do the final bug snacks of legendariness. Crystal gorging, reverse exorcisms, everything. Bug snacks are the only thing that have ever gotten me close to that state again. To that raw nirvana where the universe writes through me. Another empty venue. If you're out there, you won't be able to resist my siren song. Oh Ooh, yeah. Haha, <laughs> so as you can see, I skipped the song. Nobody else needs to hear that. You're already gonna listen to it. So, what you have to do for Mega Maki and Mini Maki. Uh, it's just a case of getting the trip shot down at the specific pot, but he's going to attack you with these balls. If you get, if he attacks you with these balls, move away from the poles because they can actually destroy the poles and uh, they don't actually grow back. So, if you hear him say Mega Maki and starts attacking you, starts throwing his balls in your face, oh well, boy, you better know it's time to move. Otherwise, all we can do for the time being is just get this trip shot on exactly where obviously the purple arrows are going and just wait and we wait So when he gets closer, get your snack grapple ready, because what's going to happen is the, his body's going to explode and they're all going to start running away, these mini-mackies. So you need to grab as many as you can 
Again, it's three hits, so you can only grab three. Hit them again, it'll only grab three. But it's basically now the same for just the rest of the, the second and third phase as well. Every time he attacks, move out of the way of the poles, so his balls don't hit them. And, you know, nobody wants to hit their balls on a steel pole, do they? No, no, no. <laughs> Not me, personally. Um, but again, the only thing that's different this time is he's flying a bit longer. No, uh, flying a bit higher, sorry. Close enough. So all you got to do is find the purple arrow, um, sort of where his path's going, in terms of where you can put the trip shot, and it's about as easy as that. So we've done it, we're coming up to the end, again make sure to get your snack grappler ready, grab the final three, although for some reason it, I'm sort of making, I'm making meal out of this last one, it's because Mega Mark, he comes and slaps me with his head, he's fed up of sticking his balls in my face, now he wants to give me head, nah, <laughs> not when you're about one inch, sorry pal, so after you grab all that, Mega Mark is, is done, go ahead and speak to Wiggle to end her final quest. And, of course, the achievement for Bossy Bugs will unlock as well, providing you've done all four. Still, not my most explosive performance. Come, darling. Let <laughs> well. Aha! My head is just... Do the... Such a... Did you do it? Well, don't be so damn from the hall. That's what I did. Why is that? Be and I've seen time and well, that's a nut. And finally, after what seems probably like hours, days, and weeks, we are finally on to the final couple of side quests for Wambus. And again, these ones are not too bad. It's we've got to plant a root and a fruit bug snack in the garden, which means we are on our way to Garden Grove once again, and Flavor Falls actually. So the first one we're going to grab is the White Strabby. So when we get into Garden Grove, we're going to go straight, ignoring all the bugs underneath. We are coming up to the end. Tell you what, these side quests definitely did feel, definitely did feel kind of chore-ish towards the end. Exactly kind of like the mailbox missions right towards the end. But still, we're there. So there's the White Strabby. Uh, so again, you know what to do, put your snap trap down, hide away from the bush, and just wait. I still love some of these names, they've literally just gone right, it's a strawberry. How can we make it into a cute little, I'll oh, just take some letters out, screw it. Or we'll just get something that rhymes with it. Now of course, if you could actually catch him first time, that would be very, very good, and less inconvenience for you than it would be for me. And there we go. Right, so got him this time, so that is the white strabby. After this, we're going to go to Flavor Falls, so just head there after this one.
And the white Rutil is basically, well, he's at the beginning. So as we turn the corner, you can just see him, his little whiteness. There he is. Not not veggie bits, wrong one. There we go, white Rutil. So he's just going to do the same as the Strabby. He's going to be scared, hide. So put the snack trap down, move away. And as soon as he gets his big white, little tiny white thing up, slap it down. You're going to get a new snack, of course, if you haven't caught him first already. And there we go. Then we can just go back to uh, uh, Bug Snurks, Snurks, Snacksburg. So <laughs> why do I keep getting them confused? Let's go back to Snacksburg and we're going to plant both of those. You don't have to speak to Wambus, just plant them both to end the first side quest for him. Everything okay? So go ahead, speak to Wambus okay. anyway, after we've done that, and that'll be the roots and fruits done. Now, for whatever reason, we always have to go to a new area and come back. So, yep, do that to get a new assignment. This one's called Soil, so we need to go ahead and catch a Spuddy. Now, Spuddy are just the big crab-like things in Scorched Gorge. Scorched Gorge! So go ahead and head to the gorge of Scorch, of the porch from the torch. Yes, I am El Rimo. Right, Spuddy will be pretty much easy to catch. If we just go left here down the river, you're going to see them. You're going to see them. There's the boy. All you got to do is get them together, get them all stunned. Job done. That's how you catch a Spuddy. And why not catch a second one as well? Right, head back. Go and talk to Big Wambleberry. You heartless! You mind your own business! You know that's not what I'm- That's so! Uh, what? Ooh, bit of a lover's quarrel there with Gramble, huh? Wambus? Hmm? Yeah. So, anyway, uh, he actually just- he doesn't need the Spuddy. So we actually have to feed it to, uh, Flimbo. Philbo. I don't know why I keep forgetting the names, to be honest. Philbo Baggins, of course. So, Chuck him wherever it is, and then basically after that, he is going to want to crap his pants. And we've all done that. I had a, um, I had a delicious takeaway the other day, and, well, not 30 seconds later, I decided to absolutely crap my balls off. That was a painful gut one. You don't need to know my toilet experiences anyway. So, right there, we've seen the X button. That is us picking up the bag of soil. It's basically right next to where Philbo was taking a dump. Yes, so you've literally just picked up Philbo's dump, more or less. Right, so go ahead, give that to Wambus. Ooh, to, um, yeah. you te you're telling me who we need. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So again, apologies about my uh, little toilet story there. Anyway, after the third time, I think at this point he was just having another little argument with Triffany. <clears throat> so what we need to do now is for the final one... We need to plant a snar coral in the garden, a Incherito, and a Sherby. Uh, again, they're not too bad to catch. They're just obviously in the places which are annoying to get to slightly. Uh, hi, piss off. Sorry, sorry, Wiggle, I meant hi. I just got to go and do more stuff for more people with no extra pay. <laughs> so, it's funny, right? So... Snackweary then is in the Simmering Sands. He's basically the little drink right there that has been popping up all through the game. Um, all through here. He hasn't stopped, so get your trip shot out. He's going to go up, down, and... And smash. So, Snackweary is very easy. The first one, job done. Now, we need to go and get an Sherby will be next. So, Anne's Sherby will be next. Now, this one is slightly a bit of a pain in the butt, ever so slightly. Basically, just like the Incherito from earlier on, it goes underground, but it is also frozen. So, what we have to do is get him above ground, 
Plus, we need to set him on fire just uh, just in order to be able to catch him. So, uh, you can use the trip shot if you want. But again, if you want to just want to make it easier for yourself, uh, what you can do is just go up to him. He's going to go above ground. And then just use the chocolate sauce. I believe it's the chocolate sauce anyway. Uh, it's going to be the chocolate sauce that you need. And just drag him over to the fire and then that will do it just fine. So, yes, chocolate sauce. Get the buggy out. There's the Sherby. Drills beneath the sun. Now, why would you want to do that? Leave my beach alone, beach. Right, so, bubble ball out. Put some chocolate on it. And then let's guide him away. Now, what he might do, he might start um, going underground for you. As long as... It should be fine as long as he's still following the chocolate ball. There he goes. So as you can see, now he's going to start coming above ground. So it's fine as long as he's still following. Just get, just put your ball in the um, flames, and then make sure to go back over to Sherby. It should still be chocolate on him. He's going to try and eat the son of a monkey. Well, he's not, but we're actually just going to catch him by slamming the fiery ball into him. So. Where there's a whale, there's always a waste. That's how you catch shrimp. It's the easiest way to do that. Just buggy ball him on fire. Job done, bro. <laughs> Job done. Right, next we need to grab an Incharito. So we are going to Sizzling Sands next. And just like the Incharito that we got from, uh, remember Flavor Falls earlier on? He's going to go underground. We need to get him above ground where he attacks you, but we need to be on hard ground. So, well, I've just got myself attack roach. Job done. Uh, so make sure that he is following you. Get yourself on this ground. And what he's going to do is slam himself down, which is goddamn hilarious. But that is how you catch the Incharito. Now that... If that doesn't look like it gives you diarrhea, I do not know what does. Um, so, it looks delicious, though. I need anything for a bit of delicious diarrhea. And that's right. Plant the Incharito. Plant the Sherby. Plant the Snack Query. Return to Wambly Wambus. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, how about, uh, you know, how about you do something yourself instead of growing red sauce all day and cheese? Although, the fact you can grow cheese is pretty damn amazing. Right, what we can do now is just uh, visit Wambus later. Very easy. Luckily, we haven't got nowhere else to go. So what probably seems like a million miles ago, or a million years ago, or a million hours ago, it's almost done. We've almost done the side quest. Hooray! And then it's just the rest of the game to go. <laughs> but at least the side quests are done. And that, my friends, is sidetracked. All 38 side quests are done. So there we go. Now, thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. I do hope this video helped. If it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share with a friend as well. I really do hope the guide helped. It was really enjoyable to make. Hopefully, it was enjoyable for you as well. Thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. I'll see you in the next Bug Snack Guide. Big love.